Hello, everyone, and welcome back to episode two of Lake. Thank you very much for tuning in, and thank you to those who tuned in and watched episode one. Much appreciated. So in today's episode, if time permitting, um, not only are we going to pick up where we left off in the last one, but there's a total of 10 secret or hidden achievements, quote unquote, in the game. And I'd like to get some of those done. There's a couple you can do kind of anytime early in the game. Then there's ones that are specific to certain days, one of which being the game day that we're going to start up now, and then others on other days and at the end. So um, we'll see how much time we have. I don't know if I mentioned it in the last one, but I'm putting together a um, little tutorial that'll be more streamlined to show everyone that's interested how to get these achievements, and it'll be bing, bang, boom, one after the other. But that's not going to happen until, uh, you know, after I play through the series, of course. <laughs> All right, so let me quit clowning around here. Let's get on with the show. I hope you enjoy. Okay, so let's go and do this stuff up on the top here. So, yeah, we'll come out, go up the street that way. Okay, Meredith. Good morning, Providence Oaks. We're There's starting the, the day as we always <laughs> do with a PO positive or pet B, followed by the weather. PO positive or pet B. There we go. Dale, what's it gonna be? It's a positive all the way, Jack. I went to Moe's Diner yesterday, and I don't think I've ever had blueberry pie that tasted so good. Mm -hmm. mm. Thank you much, Dale. That makes me want to get a piece right now. But the weather's first. We'll start off sunny with a few clouds later today. How about some music now? All right, so we're trying to do a little bit of a smoother driving job. So it looks like our first stop here is an envelope. Kind of early in the morning to be blasting the radio out of the truck. <laughs> there we go. And then the next one should be 205, right? Let's see. 205, yep. Same handwriting as the one I delivered next door. I'm mm -hmm. guessing party invitations? Oh. Don't be nosy, Meredith. Don't be nosy. What a beautiful, beautiful morning. Okay, so the next one's going to be a package. Watch out, I don't hit the El Torino there. <laughs> Should be this little shop on the corner up here. The Flick Snack. Okay. <laughs> Park as best as I can. You don't want to interrupt anybody's morning commute. Oh, let's get the package. I don't know how many times I'm going to skip doing this. So Main Street. 351 Main. I guess that's this one here. We'll pick it up and see what happens. Trying to be cognizant of how I swing the camera too. I don't want to make you guys throw up. <laughs> Good morning, hello. This looks like a video store. Welcome to the Flick Shack. How can I help you? Got a package for you, ma'am. Hold on, you're our new postal worker? Talk about not looking the part. I'll just say, is that a compliment? <laughs> <laughs> is that a compliment? Trust me. It definitely is. 
Well, oh. thank you then. Name's Meredith, by the way. Meredith Weiss. Angie, Eastman. So, what brings you to Providence Oaks? Oh, grew up here, and now I'm back to do my dad a favor. Ah, I myself have been here for six years. And what brings you here? Didn't grow up here, came to do myself a favor. Touche, Mrs. Eastman. Miss. So, how's business? Try to keep it light. Uh, it's booming. People in Providence Oaks sure like their movies. <laughs> I guess it's because there's not much else to do around here. Might as well watch a flick, right? Well, other than enjoy the scenery. Scenery schmeery. Why stare at a boring <laughs> lake when you can go to outer space and watch the Death Star get blown up? Hmm. Maybe I should watch more movies. I can get on board well, with that. It was nice meeting you, Miss Eastman. But call me Angie. And here, someone just returned this, and it should be right up your alley. The postman always rings twice? Oh, no. That is a nasty movie. <laughs> Little on the nose, don't you think? Well, I don't know anything else about you, Mrs. Temporary Postal Worker. <laughs> Miss. But touche, Angie. We'll check it out. All right. I'll check it out if I have the time. Take your time. This isn't exactly the most popular flick in the shack. And there's plenty of choice, regardless. Okay. Well, it was nice meeting you, Miss Angie. Same here, Miss Meredith. Take care, Angie. All right. So I don't know if you guys ever watched The Postman Rings twice in real life. It's a real-life movie, I think, with Jack Nicholson. And uh, it's got quite graphic adult situations in it. <laughs> Alright, so the next stop... Now, why did I think it said something about Snack Shack or something like that? The, the Flick Shack. See? That makes more sense. Not the Flick Snack. <laughs> uh, if there's a way to screw it up, I will. Okay. Here we go. I should have looked behind me first. Alright, so this is West 3rd Street, and that's East 3rd Street. So an envelope and a package on this road. And Pine Street. Okay, so it looks like... Um, did I pass something here? I think I did. Yeah, I did. This house. We're male people, so we can go on both sides of the road. <laughs> All right, Meredith, put on the parking brake. So this is an envelope. Oh, four. Excellent. Let's look at the map, the, the list here. Yeah, it's on there. Okay, good. such a small community like this, it would be very embarrassing to deliver mail to the wrong house. <laughs> That's what our postman does where I live in real life all the time. My, uh, my neighbor across the street gets my mail a lot, and uh, she doesn't check her mailbox but every two weeks. So if you're looking for a bill... <laughs> Should be the only package left on Pine Street. Looks like somebody's getting a hat. A little hat box. My compliments to uh, the developers. They picked out some really good epidemic sound music. Good tunes. Ring the doorbell. Commander Grace. We have established communication with ground control. Uh -oh. How do you wish to proceed? Tell them we've landed the rocket. Oh, okay. Ground control, we have landed the rocket. <laughs> we will now begin our experiments. Um, package for the Evans family? Just a minute. Commander Grace, permission to explore? Permission granted. That's so cute. Yep, 
We're the Evans family. Could I just take that real quick? I'm kind of in the middle of a lunar landing. Sure. Here you go. Nice helmet, by the way. Why, thank you. I actually modeled it on the Apollo 11 crew outfit. Wait, what? Meredith? Buzz Aldrin? <laughs> um, I'm sorry. Who are you? What? For real? You don't recognize your old best friend when you see her? Wait a minute. Kay? Great. And now I busted my colander. I knew <laughs> opening the door in this thing was a bad idea. I'm sorry. I didn't recognize you with the colander thing. The helmet. Yeah, clearly. But it seems I'm not the only one who came in disguise. Got me there. You're Kay Evans now? Don't sound so surprised. But yes, I married Barry. Evans, I'm sure you remember our high school star quarterback. Mom! Be right there, Commander Grace! Scanning for alien life forms. That's my little scientist back there. She's crazy about space travel, as you may have guessed, even after the whole Challenger thing. Sounds like you're doing great. I'm happy for you. Well, obviously a lot can happen in 22 years, so... Time flies. So, I heard you were back in town for a while. From Maureen. That's right. I ran into her yesterday at the diner. <laughs> Word gets around, doesn't it? The kitchen caught fire, so your Uncle Stan is going to have a field day. Nope. It's Moe's diner now. Like I said, a lot of things happened while you were away. Oh, also, boy. I work there now. At the diner. Wonder if her uncle lost the diner. Taking over the family business, eh? Let's compare notes. Yeah, we'll see. Ready for a liftoff! Listen, I'm sorry, but I don't really have time for this right now. Can't get stuck on the moon on my own, and I have to get ready for work. See you around, Em. <laughs> Good to see you, Kay. Evans! <laughs> Commander Grace, hold up! You'll never guess what I just found. You can say that again. <laughs> A lot of awkward conversations, huh? Bye, Kay. Okay. Right, let's just make sure. I think we could just take this loop around. Yeah, we'll just take this around and then we'll head down here and I'll have to try to remember to go to this church. I'm going to go ahead, if I can put a waypoint here somewhere. Let's try that. I think I'm going to turn the music up a little bit more. I want you all to enjoy it as much as I do. But I don't want it to overpower everything, you know? See how that does. It's going to bang in really rude and loud if that announcer comes back on, though. curb and pop a tire. Welcome Dano. Welcome Dano. Hawaii 5 -0. That's cool. Must be a little bookstore. My keen spidey sense tells me so. <laughs> So general store. So we could turn down this road again. There we go. Jeez, if this is the same road that I took last time, and we went right by that church. Is that a path back there? That might be. 
Let's see what happens. Yeah, I'm going to go up there. I think that's the way. Yep. So we're going to look for a little white church up on a hill. Oh, well, that wasn't too hard. <laughs> oh, I remember this place. There it is. Achievement unlocked. Higher ground. Awesome. I don't know if you've seen that come up in the lower right-hand corner of the screen. If I remember, I'll take a picture of my Steam thing. So let's just take a right and go turn up to New Street. So I know the story is going to pick up a little bit. If you read the synopsis, especially what I put down in the description, the characters really do get involved with each other, so it shouldn't be, you know, this slow going all the time. But do keep in mind, as I said before, this is not an action-packed, you know, game full of chills and thrills. <laughs> all right, so this is an envelope. I just want to make sure 100 New Street, right? Yep. Hey, Mom and Dad have new neighbors. Siegler, huh? Don't think they ever mentioned them. Maybe they don't care for each other. <laughs> they could be clingy neighbors. You offer a little friendly hello and before you know it, hey, can I borrow your lawnmower? Can I borrow your tools? Blah, blah, blah. So... So Walnut Drive, we have one here, and it's going to be an envelope. I am really on the wrong side of the road. I need to stop looking around. So it should be this home over here. Park over here. There we go. Just want to make sure it's the proper address. 205. So it looks like it's looks like it's 203. So that is okay. I read that number wrong. I'm blind, and it says it right there. <laughs> but tell me at a little distance, at quick glance, see? Doesn't that look like a five on the mailbox? Please say yes. Just help me out. Sympathize. <laughs> Good morning, Mrs. Jenkins. Nice to see you. Meryl, dear! So glad you could come by. Oh, it's quite the emergency. What's wrong, Miss Jenkins? It's poor little Mortimer. Aww. He's fallen ill, I think. One minute he was full of life. The next he, well, he just wasn't. He's almost catatonic. <laughs> That's terrible. Let's see, I don't know what to say to her, because you could set her off pretty easy. I mean, I'm not a vet, but he looks fine to me. Well, fact is, you're not a vet, are you? Do you know who knows about animals, though? It's Mr. Mackey. He runs the old bait shop by the lake. Could you take Mortimer to him? Sure, I'll get right on it. Here, little kitty, come on. Wonderful! Be nice to Meredith Mortimer. Don't shed too much hair in her van now. Bye, Miss Jenkins. Bye, Meredith. See you soon, Mortimer. Well, at least she's calling her Meredith again. She was calling her Meryl there a few times. I know there was options to correct her, but, uh, you know, it's not really nice to do. Now look at this, I am pulled all the way over. You got plenty of room, dude. Now what do I do, do I put him in the back? That sounds like a kind of a mean thing to do, but let's see what happens. Yeah, <laughs> she threw him in there like a football. <laughs> all right, 
So let's not get in front of that car. Did I deliver the envelope? I think I did, yeah. Okay, so now we'll go see Mr. Mackey at the bait shop to fix up the cat. Now, I don't think I'm going to get the achievement until I come back the next day to pick the uh, kitty up. So, yeah, we should probably head right over there. So, I'll, again, maybe turn around and go this way now. Yeah, because <laughs> if the cat passes away in the back of the mail truck, I'm going to be in a pickle. All right, so illegal you Oh, and a tractor trailer. I've seen Mr. Coleman do this, so we're, we're, we're straight. <laughs> I've seen him pull Yui's over here. I don't want Sheriff Barney Fife in town to give me a ticket. <laughs> see if I can see the lake here without crashing. Nice. There's the Ambrose River, the mighty Ambrose. And I think that's where we're going over there. Okay, U.S. Postal Ambulance Service. Mortimer, you're in good hands. You might uh, get a few of your marbles rolled around back there in the truck, but uh, Mackie can fix you up. <laughs> okay, so it'll be our next right. There we go, make sure no logging trucks come out of there. go. Take it nice and steady. Okay. Took down a couple of Mr. Mackey's shrubbery there. <laughs> now I'm not going to back in here because I'm going to have to try to jiggle in between the fence to get the back door open. All right, Mortimer. Here we go. Pick it up. It's a nice old truck. It's like an old Ford. I gotta stop. Wish I could read those. Yoo-hoo, Mr. Mackey. If Mrs. Jenkins' cat dies, we're both in for it. <laughs> I could probably go walking up there, but I have a feeling. Let's see. Let's see where it be pops up anywhere. It's not falling in the water. Ooh, we should take a boat out. I wonder if we could take a boat. That'd be cool. Okay, so Mr. Mackey's not down here. got to be up at the bait house there. Hope he's not floating in the water. Be really hard to explain if Mackie turns up dead and then the cat dies. <laughs> Wouldn't make me look too good. Alright, I see people standing up there, so... And a girl, Meredith. Right up those steps. Oh, got a nice catch today. Mr. Mackey, I know you're closed, but... What? I'm Meredith Weiss. Yeah, yeah, Meredith Weiss. Thomas kid. I remember you running around the lake when you were yay high, getting into all sorts of trouble. What can I do you for? Oh, well, he's a peach. Mildred Jenkins tells me you know a lot about animals, and, well... <laughs> oh, hi there, little fellow. What's your name? Apparently it's Mortimer. Oh, pleased to meet you, Mort. Hmm, he's a little sluggish. Has Millie been feeding him cupcakes again? <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, I have no idea is probably the safe answer. To be honest, I have no idea. <sighs> Leave him with me. I'll put him on a diet today. Maybe even catch him a fish if they're biting. With any luck, he should be up and running in the morning. There you go. Let's see what he says here. Try to be a little more friendly. Thank you, sir. By the way, how are you? 
I'm fine, I'm fine. You go back to running around that lake, Miss Weiss. Okay. Bye, Mr. Mackey. Bye, Mortimer. Wow. I mean, wow. <laughs> Even the cat's mean. <laughs> All right, Mackey, I'll see you later. Carefully back out of here, not hit Mackey's truck. He's, he's mean enough. <laughs> Stop at the stop sign here, and we'll have another look at our map just to make sure. So, yeah, we're going to take a right. Go around here. All right. Anybody coming? <laughs> There's that rattly old suspension. That's so cool. I think we've been this way the last time we came back out and went straight back on this road so we get maybe another view of the lake we did a really nice job with the textures though I know I said that several times in the last video but uh, yeah, by chance someday if any of the developers ever come across this video I want them to know you know the honest thing there we go. For all our farming simulator fans, looks like we got a little wheat growing there, or maybe is it barley or wheat. Could be oats. Can't tell from this angle. And I'm really not going to get out of the truck now. <laughs> this episode's going to go over that I think 20 minute sweet spot as it is, but that's okay. Now what's this here? Let's go up here. My nosiness is getting to me. <laughs> There's no achievement listed here, but... I remember Dad telling me, Meredith, the picnic area is for the older kids. I think I was 17 when I had my first actual picnic here. Uh... It rained. <laughs> Just your luck, huh? A little table, some log benches. Nice. I think that was worth a little stop. You never know. We might find a bag of money in the weeds here that uh, some criminal passing through threw out of the car window. <laughs> now that's real fantastical wishful thinking. Now what is this? Is this uh, a dam or something? Yeah, it looks like it might be. Yeah. Used to think our Spanner Dam was just as big and famous as Hoover Dam. Wow. Then I visited Hoover Dam. Yeah. Pretty darn impressive if you've never been. I did make a vlog video about it, so one of these days I'll get it out for you to see. What's this here? Uh-oh. Got the cheap motel with the pink sign. I bet you they got hourly rates. <laughs> Let me stop. The Oregon Trail Motel. Vacancy. Do tell. Alright, so let's see. You don't want to block the driveway, so... Well, somebody's got a truck just like Mr. Mackey's. Unless that is Mr. Mackey's truck. I better go find out where uh, Mildred Jenkins is. Paying the vet bill. <laughs> Alright. So, oh, this is a package. Let's stay on cue. See, I backed in right straight up to the the little thing here so hopefully yeah we can still get in okay glad you have common sense Meredith because I sure don't 
That's lighter than I thought. That's awesome. Because I could have parked in that space over there. You would have had not so far to walk. <laughs> oh, interesting chap. Hello, sir. Parcel for you. Dude, don't make me hit you with the box. Um, I hope I'm not disturbing, but here's a parcel for you. One minute, I'm busy. <laughs> if you could just accept the parcel and let me be on my way. Is that a parcel for me? Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, yeah, I'm going to be a wise guy on this one because he's rude. No, it's for Bigfoot. You can just put it on the counter. You're welcome. Sometimes you get secondary dialogue. Let's see if he says anything else. <laughs> Okay, yeah. He's about as interesting as that cardboard box. <laughs> okay. Now sure will be seeing you again. All right. I wonder if can we go up there? I don't remember. Oh, yeah. Take a left, come back around. We'll just enjoy the music and the ride. Beautiful birch trees. Oh, there's the police. Hey, you gotta mind your P's and Q's, you never know. He must be searching for that bag of money that was ditched I was talking about, see? Alright, this looks interesting here. I'm gonna check out this cabin over here, guys, quick. That's what we're here to do, right? Deliver the mail, annoy the people, and explore. Probably shouldn't be here probably like a good place to be murdered. <laughs> okay. Well, I heard the creaking of the porch. I thought somebody's coming out. <laughs> now, what would happen if I took that road? Hope I don't get in trouble with Mr. Coleman. Okay, so there's, there's another home up there. So this is all lake houses up and through here. Bet you the watchtower is up that way, though. We'll see. This looks like a foot trail down to a little cabin. I don't know if I should be going down here. Oh, yeah. Okay, we'll pass on that. <laughs> Next video, we'll go get the watchtower unless I run into it along the way. I'm really tempted to go back up here, though. I'll see. Ooh, a tunnel. Twasn't expecting that. Headlights come on automatically? Nope. Okay, you probably knew it before I did. 
I mean, 100% knew it, but I think I'm going to go up that road and look for that tower. Yeah. Here off to the left. Yeah, this looks like a watchtower place if I ever saw one. Where I used to live on the East Coast, I used to hike up this mountain. It was called Sleeping Giant Mountain because when you look at it from a bit of a distance, it looks like a big giant laying down on his back with his, you can see his head, stomach, and feet. Pretty cool. And there was an old uh, watchtower, World War I watchtower built up there. I used to hike up there all the time. Or ride our bikes. Went with my friend Randy. And she went with me several times until one time she saw a big copperhead snake crawling across the rocks up there. And that was it. <laughs> she never wanted to go back. <laughs> okay. So this might have been... Oh, there it is. Look at that. <laughs> the watchtower. <sighs> my old stomping ground. Okay, let's look in the right-hand corner of the screen, see if we get an achievement after I climb up to the top. But just in case we run into any troubles, we'll just turn around and park nice. There we go. All right, Meredith. Let's go up there, get this achievement. Enjoy the view. There it is. Tower Watcher down the right hand corner. Look at that. Here's Mr. Mackey's place over there just to the right of my head or Meredith's head and that must be the uh, well that's either the Ambrose River outlet yeah because the dam would be over there there it is that's the dam over there that's really cool all right so it's time to head back to the post office let me know guys for the next episode if you want me to have the the radio music going or not. You let me know. Alright. I don't see any uh, turning signals on the vehicle either. I guess that's really not the focus of the game. Is like, it's not a mail truck simulator, you know? <laughs> so, definitely forgiven on that one. Okay, now today I think we will back it in nicely. Hope it doesn't pose a, a problem loading it up, but okay. We won't go too far in. There we go. Weiss residence Wednesday evening. It's gonna be who is it? The mother first. There it is. Hi. And of course. Not. Oh, hi, Steve. How are you? Busy as two peas. Added eighty-seven is really getting there. Hey, listen, you've got plenty of time, right? Yeah, we'll do this one. I guess, but that's nice for a change. Awesome, I need a favor. I sent a bunch of files your way. It's the retail pitch for Added 87. It's good, but not great. It needs your magic. Do you think you can add it? Huh? <laughs> oh, jeez. Of course, Steve. It's a pleasure to help you, because you never ask for anything, and you never bother me. <laughs> <laughs> nice one, Steve. When will the files arrive, and when do you need the feedback? Ah, oh, well, it should arrive tomorrow, and I need it yesterday. 
I could just send it to your post office, right? Yep, can't miss. Awesome. Mail back to me as soon as possible. Priority mail. Thanks so much. Oh, I gotta run. Okay, Steve. Oh, one final thing. Oh, now let this marinate. <clears throat> add it, 87, add anything you like. It's fancy, right? Yeah, don't, don't tell me now. Uh, I got a jet. Bye. Wow. <sighs> I don't know, Meredith. <laughs> they better pay you real good because, uh, <laughs> you know, I, I kind of like the postal idea out here on the, on the lake versus going back to the city and dealing with that moron. All right, so what do we have here? Stay home and watch TV. The postman always rings twice. Oh, boy. Now, <laughs> hopefully it won't be nasty like uh, it was in the real movie, but uh, stay home and read a book. We'll do that next time. Let's, well, let's go ahead and watch this so we can. All right. Well, let's watch this. <laughs> Hope you're not uh, on the prudish side, Meredith. Thursday, September 4th. Oh, Steve's parcel. And a note from Tess. Hey, Em. Hope you're doing well. Steve told me you'd want to read through this monstrosity. Not sure if you really said that, but have a great time there, anyways. Take care. Tess. Okay, well, I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> I thought they'd do some kind of silly movie sounds or something like that, but uh, yeah, they just kind of skipped right over that one. <laughs> With good reason. But anyway, so we're going to leave it here, folks, and we'll pick up again um, September 4th in the next episode. Again, I really hope you enjoyed it, and if you could do me a small favor... If you think I did a good job on the video, could you please give it a thumbs up? Please like the video. I always look forward to uh, chatting with you down in the comments, so don't be afraid to leave a nice comment. And uh, if you're not subscribed, please consider doing so. We'd love to have you as part of the family. So until next time, please take great care of yourself, okay? And bye for now.